What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be looking at all the classes. I'm gonna have videos for each of them, just kind of really exploring the classes even more with all the information that we have. Okay, there's not a whole lot out there, but I kind of want to go class by class and just kind of talk about it, my thoughts, and just get really excited for this game because, I mean, I haven't been pumped for a game like this in a long time. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Monk, and then we'll be going through each class afterwards um they may be a few in the same video or separate videos just be a lookout on the channel for those but we're going to take a look at the monk here i got a couple videos to go through um with some of the devs here and a lot of information that's been pumped out so let's go ahead and have a listen so we're going to start off with the monk and then we're going to talk so about it as a fast melee fighter he cares a lot about momentum and combat um now he's so the monk is going to kind of be like our like here let me move my camera so it looks good uh for the video here but like so the monk is going to kind of be like our, just our straight melee guy and just like the super fast character. It reminds me of the D3 monk. Um, and it just looks so good. He does a lot of damage, but he isn't necessarily uh, that uh, strong physically uh, in terms of defenses. So uh, you're going to want to stay back. And okay, so the monk has physical like defensive weaknesses. Okay, so he like physical damage he takes he takes a lot of hits with. Okay. And, uh, you know, go into and out of combat very quickly. Now, like all classes, um, the monk was going to want to mix and match a few different combos. And one of the things we really like to do with our skills is make sure that we've got a lot of things that can take advantage of different situations. In this particular case, Octave... By the way, guys, let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the whole combo thing. I think it's really good for the game. Then he's freezing monsters with uh, this wave of frost, and then he's using Glacial Cascade to uh, kill them uh, if he even hits the thing. If the end of the um, Glacial Cascade hits the monster um, and it's frozen, then it will um, do a uh, AOE Ooh. damage and... Uh, you know, um, yeah, it becomes like a, a cyclone. Damage. Now, the monk also has a lot of combo skills. An example, so if you hit monsters using regular attacks, uh, then you'll charge those skills up. An example of this is Tempest Bell. So okay. here we're going to create a bell, uh, and then if you hit Bing. the bell, you do damage around it. Uh, you can also um, add... Oh, that's definitely like from Diablo 3 for sure. ...status elements to the bell. So, for example, you could freeze it like he was doing there, which will add cold damage, but you could also set it on fire or um, do... Um, I wonder uh, if he's you know, on WASD movement. Kind of so... That's sort of just like a really quick rundown of the kind of skills you can expect on the monk. But how do you get skills in the first place? Well, the answer to that is skill gems. So the way that you get uh, skill gems are items okay. that you can find in the world. And if you right click on one, uh, you can choose what skill you want to get. Now we're okay. trying to keep the skill system. So it's an so basically you get an uncut skill gem, and then you can place the skill in inside the gem. So like, so as opposed to getting individual gems. You know, like an individual falling thunder gem, an individual glacial cascade gem, and then socketing them. You're just like getting a, a like a flat, uncut gem, and you're just putting the skill in there. System feeling as much as possible simple for our new players. Um, there's two things you can do here. You can either level up an existing skill or you can pick a new one, and that kind of interface is quite familiar. We have added things like tutorial videos for every skill. Oh, that's cool. Explode when attacked by you. I like that. I like the tutorial um, stuff. But uh, effectively, we just want to make sure we're keeping this symbol as possible. Yeah, now, see, you do, then you put it in there. Skill gem is put it into your skill screen. Okay. And once you've done that, you can bind it and use it. This particular skill oh. is called Frozen Locus that creates a... Um, okay, okay. I might actually have to move that part down. Yeah. Uh, it's fine, I guess. It's fine. Uh, a, a little ice ball there and then you can detonate that with your glacial cascade if you lots, want since it counts as a uh, frozen object um, um, or the monsters can attack it and explode it that way or you oh, I see. a boss is about to slam and explode it that way so that's a sort of basic rundown on how you get skills that's so but cool man that um, you can also use skills across other classes the monk well. is so fast so, um, what we saw there was just the skills for this one class if we open up the screen again you can see that the skills for the other classes are still available if um you can if you have the stats oh to use, you can use them as well. okay um, there's lots of different interesting combinations i see how that works too. now so that's just a quick rundown on what you can expect for the monk uh now we're going to move okay so i got another one here guys another one here the monk is super strong of skills to mix and match different combos like it's to get new skills you'll first need to find skills. yeah then there's a skill gem Using a skill gem will open a skill to consume that power charge for a much more oh wow the monk actually has electricity the monk also has powerful combo skills tempest bell for example the combos like on the monk just seems so fast and fluid dealing damage to all enemies around it 
Oh, that. Oh, so when you hit it. Oh. Okay, that's really cool. The monk also has a variety of abilities to empower his staff. I mean, it's way different from POE 1. We're like, you know, we're just like not being able to just click and go. Oh, okay, we got Aang in here. Avatar Airbender. There are 21 active skills for quarter staves. So this just 21 skills. Look at it, dude. From pack to pack, spewing projectiles and obliterating. That's what I mean, man. The monk just looks so cool. And see, and then when you see footage like this, like the the like combo system just doesn't seem that bad when you look at it. Like initially when I see it, it's like, oh man, I gotta like use this skill to set up this skill and then use this skill to to kill the monster, as opposed to like I just have the skill and I attack. At first I thought it was gonna be bad, but then like when you see it. And you're like, okay, use this skill, freezes them, then use my other skill, and they all explode. It's like, it's not really not that bad. Yeah, dude, that's nuts, man. Okay, guys, so that that's the monk. The monk is so pretty sort of juicy. Like a really it's a pretty, pretty fun class, man. I mean, it looks, it just looks incredible. The monk is, uh, you know, if you're a big melee guy, like this monk is going to be super super cool to play i mean and this is just early stage stuff like this is not end game um gameplay at all either guys so i don't want you to get hung up on that uh, i think some of the other footage that we just saw was a little bit more in game a little bit more high a higher level but even so i wonder if he's using wasd or not i think he's on Mas no he's on masaki it's just it's really cool how like you can move you know it's the wasd movement because that is one thing like from poe one that i wasn't the biggest fan of like the movement like it was fine once you got like higher speeds you can move around but like, it just felt really i don't know what the word is it just felt like a little off like on the corners when you would turn and stuff this seems a little bit more fluid but man look at all the skills for monk it seems like you could go like air style or air bending you could do lightning bending uh, you know water slash ice bending I'm calling it bending because I'm stuck on Avatar right now. But what else is in here? Charge stuff. I don't know if he has any fire stuff. <sighs> Flicker strike probably seems really, really cool. Freezing mark. I think the freeze aspect of the monk is probably going to be super strong. And I really like that they have like a little guide here to, you know, show you like, hey, this is what you could put in here. But man, the monk is just... If you like melee classes, this just seems really cool. So see how like setting this skill up and then if you hit it with or whatever the other skill is called, the detonation skill, the glacial thing. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it just causes it to explode. So you set it up, you hit them, and then you hit it again and then it explodes. So that's kind of cool. And he like chills this quarter staff to deal a lot of damage. That skill is insane. That whatever the W skill is is pretty nuts. Go back. Oh, glacial cascade. That skill I think is going to be super strong in the beginning. I mean, even when we go look at the other footage here, like, like it just, it just seems so good, man. Like you just come in here and the. The combat is just... Even the lightning actually doesn't look that bad. Shout out Sasuke. But yeah, guys. If you're a melee person, the monk looks absolutely insane. It looks so good. It really looks cool. The airbending actually looks pretty phenomenal, too. I know there's not a lot of footage out there. I mean, there's some people that have some more gameplay. But man. It's kind of... And, and like, look at this, too. It adds, like, a blocker so the monsters can't actually get to you. It's kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that is the monk class. Okay, we're going to be breaking down all the other classes and just kind of giving my overall thoughts. But man, monk seems really, really fun. I'm so excited for this game. I still think it's kind of crazy. There's a lot of people out there that are just sh shelving out like, you know, build guys and tier lists and all this stuff when there's just not a lot of informa information. But Man, this is just really cool. So we're going to be breaking down and taking a look at each and every other class, guys, and throwing them on the channel so a little bit more in-depth if you guys want to take a look at them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, look at this. I would say this right here is probably a little bit more higher end game, just because of the skills and like what he can do. But look at that, man. The monk just seems so, so good. 
So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like the video, help me out with the algorithm. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Monk or if you're playing Monk uh, when PoE2 EA releases uh, on the 6th, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.